The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now down to 43. You get the Nasdaq up 21. S&Ps are uh, down one and a half. Uh, gold, we get some volatility uh, inside the uh, gold market, inside the bonds, and inside the currencies, folks. Uh, gold has been up as high as uh, 440, down uh, a couple bucks. Right now, you got it up to 210, trading at uh, 1334. Silver, silver still can't catch a bid. They whack silver this morning. You got it down 14 cents right now, $16.84 uh, an ounce. Uh, light sweet crude, that's flat, 63.49. Uh, Notes, 10-year note up 11 ticks, 122.14. 30-year bonds up almost a full point, 28 ticks, 149.18. That's a big number. Um, both the note and the bond market folks had rejected lower price yesterday. You had big contraction in volume. Bottom line, we get an expansion of volume. Uh, the 10-year is going to need more than 11 ticks. Uh, but the bottom line is that uh, you got to start happening out here. The uh, king dollar, king dollar, bottom line, is ready to break the 90. There you go. Just as I'm talking, it just broke it. Uh, we're down 206 ticks. We're at 89.985. Would you have a king dollar is this? King dollar is in a very large ABC structure on the way down. 82,500 is the number. Bottom line, um, uh, this 90 is probably more than like just a psychological number. Uh, it's hit it twice in the last 10 days. Uh, I suspect what you're going to get out here today, though, is that we're going to get price spread today. The euro is at uh, almost 123 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is trading out here at 110 and a quarter to the U.S. dollar. Let's go right over to the dollar index first. So if we take a look at this dollar index, what you're going to see is that right now we are trading down 201 ticks. I'm going to do this uh, in an intraday uh, setup. And what you have is this is that we've been building cars now for six days in order to basically uh, get some real price spread going. We had the price spread going in an incredible way. When you go back and look at 92, which was on January 11th, we went from 92 and we went down in three days to 90. Bottom line is that the, the way this is setting up right now, I expect that you are going to get some very fast acceleration uh, on the way down. Uh, we're going to do this intraday for a second. Okay, so intraday, we, we, had, we had some volume here, uh, 562 contracts uh, going into the low out here of 89, um, 985, right where we are. So your next level down there is going to be the lows that were established on last Thursday. That low uh, that was established last Thursday was 89,960. Uh, the bulls and bears, we're going to be fighting out here like a wildfire today. The 10-year note, let's go take a look at the 10-year note because the 10-year note basically is saying that, hey, guess what? Uh, bottom line, why are they buying bonds again? Why? Who knows? But we're, we're going to find out. Um, we're up 12 ticks. You're at 122.15. Thus far, you've got the 795,000 contracts. That's saying we're going to be doing about 1.5 to 1.7 million contracts. Your first level that you got to get back inside is seven ticks higher than this right now we're at a 122.14 i would say that uh 122.22 gets you some action uh in order to basically uh have a failure on the breakdown you have to get back inside the 123.12 area now 30 year different ball game altogether the reason that the 30 years is such a different ball game uh is that what you have with the 30 year is that this u.s the 30-year never broke down. Um, this thing is strong like bull. 30-year, uh, 147 would be the breakdown. Uh, right now, you're up 27 ticks. You're already back inside the higher range. Anything inside the 149.08 uh, gets you inside the higher range. Uh, we have 137,000 contracts. And if you want to see, uh, that's big contract volume. That's saying we're going to be uh, being 250, 270. All day yesterday, we only did 236,000 contracts. 
So you're back inside that range. Bottom line, uh, we'll see how this uh, shakes out. But they're out there buying bonds. Some of the higher volume stocks out here, you have uh, GE up 37 cents. We have Bank of America, flat, uh, Netflix. Netflix is the number, man. Holy cow. Netflix is an ABC structure on the way up. Uh, that is up $23. They came out with their numbers last night, monster numbers, uh, all of the above. Uh, bottom line is that uh, they have 110 million subscribers now, and they are firing on all cylinders. Uh, some of the other higher volume stocks out here, you get um, uh, Facebook is up a buck eighty-eight. You get Square down one dollar. Uh, Procter and Gamble that's down two dollars. Let's go take a look at Procter and Gamble. Uh, PG also come out with numbers. Uh, the market's not digging whatever they're saying out here, and it totally makes sense too, by the way, because when I look at the uh, aspect, uh, you know, uh, on, the, on the age that we're in right now, let's go see what they have to say. So, uh, Procter and Gamble is coming into the downdraft that was out here from last October. And let's see what they have to say number-wise. Okay, so their estimate was a dollar nineteen, no dollar fourteen. They come in a dollar nineteen, so they came in over the estimate. Uh, they are their growth is they're saying five to eight percent. They saw five to seven percent. Their organic sales are up two percent. So they hit all their numbers, and the bottom line uh, is that it's not helping them. Uh, it looks like uh, they're saying that uh, $2.5 billion in profit, uh, there's some tax implications in there somewhere. Uh, their e-commerce sales are up 40%, but what's also happening there, it says Procter & Gamble profit falls on beauty brands uh, sale. Bottom line is that... Uh, uh, beauty brands, folks, uh, are going to be taken over by good old Amazon. That's that's how this is uh, shaking out in a big way. And what you do have uh, inside the context of, let's say, their their shaving business, right? They bought they bought Gillette. Bottom line, uh, that shaving business is a lot of people in that shaving business right now, uh, and it seems like uh, a few of them are making actually better products in that business. Let's go over and take a look at the uh, XAU, the HUI, uh, XAU right now. Philadelphia Gold and Silver Exchange is trading down 70 cents. You're at $87, uh, 20, uh, 62 cents. You've already rejected the 86.94, uh, which is pretty sweet because this probably is setting up another small ABC structure on the way up. This baby wants to get up into the 93.39 area. We go into the Gold Bugs Index. We take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. Gold Bugs Index right now is trading down 79 cents. You are at 196.87. Uh, this also just got into, uh, it had a little gap away uh, from the 12th of January. Uh, filled the gap, bottom line, now we'll see where we get the uh, action uh, top side. Uh, the way that the uh, dollar is trading, the way that the bonds are trading, and the way that gold is trading, uh, I expect we are going to get uh, in, in have some good volatility in that market. Silver, let's go to the silver market. This is the dog, man. So if we take a look at silver, you stay right there, we'll be coming right back. We're gonna be taking a look at silver, folks. Silver right now is down uh, just about 1%. They hit this baby pretty good this morning. Whacked it down at 16.73. Right now you're at 16.82. You stay right there, folks, we'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials right now are flat. NASDAQ is up 33, S&Ps are up two and a half. We'll come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Thank you.
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. We have the Dow Industrials right now flat. You get the Nasdaq uh, up 36. S&Ps are up three and a half. Let's go over and take a look at the uh, copper market. Uh, so they whack copper this morning, folks. And what you had out here is that uh, copper. We right now we're trading. Where are you? You're trading down 2.3 percent. You're down seven and a half pennies. And what you can see out here is that the. The copper market failed on the uh, 28th of uh, December. Uh, this has been a consolidation. It's been a consolidation for a long period of time. Uh, we have down 127,000 contracts. What I expect you're going to see here, uh, copper is going to be running down to this 294 area. Right now you're at uh, 312. If we do put this on a continuous contract, what you're going to see is that this consolidation has been here for a bit. The, we'll pull this back, put this on a couple years. And what you're going to see, this uh, the, the lower end of this consolidation is 287, and that's uh, August of 2017. That's the way that baby's set up. So I expect um, we're going to get down there. We'll find out uh, how fast we get down there. Uh, that, to me, is that the uh, Chinese, once again, are just going to be backing off. Uh, they got enough copper right now. They'll back off until they get uh, less expensive price. If we go over to the bond market, now this bond market's really going to be intriguing, and this is why. First off, it's it's counterintuitive, meaning that the Fed's telling us that, well, the Fed has been going up in short-term rates. Um, the 10-year broke down. The 30-year hasn't broken down, yet the dollar keeps going lower. Now, that being said, guess what, folks, is that we are going to be issuing uh, more notes and bonds than, than we have since 2010, in 2018. Uh, the Treasury Department has announced uh, on January 31st of this year, uh, that's when Mnuchin's going to come out and explain exactly how many notes, bonds, and coupon-bearing securities, all Treasuries, uh, he is going to push out. The first press release is saying that they expect to push out at least one trillion. Now, that's, that's the most in seven years. On top of that, okay, it's pretty intense because on top of that, what you have is that uh, the budget office 
has released a acceleration of what they think is going to have to be pushed out for the next 10 years. And if you want to see something that's pretty amazing, uh, you're talking about uh, each and every year, um, our debt at this particular point, right now we're running about $15 trillion. Uh, that's held by either you, me, countries, trust funds, all of the above. Well, from 2016, that was 2000, well, 2017 is at 15 trillion. They expect by 2027, that's going to be 25 trillion. And, and thus far, each year it's showing that it's going to be going up. Uh, so it's really pretty wild watching that the, the bond market is saying something different. Now, that's been consistent <laughs> when you look back, whether it's last five, ten years. You know, each and every time that you think the bond market's going to croak, guess what? Something else comes into play. There's plenty of buyers inside the bond market versus the amount of cash that is out in the system. Pretty amazing. And, folks, if you haven't test drove uh, the Nadex platform, a uh, great time to do it. You can come over to our website at TFNN. Uh, you'll see the banner on the top and the side. You hit the banner, bring up the Nadex platform. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account, and you can walk along with this as we trade these defined option contracts. Um, let's go over to Bitcoin for a second because what they do have uh, also is that they have Bitcoin weekly binaries, uh, and weekly spreads rather. Uh, Bitcoin out here this morning, we traded to 99.48. Right now, we are at 10,590. Uh, it hasn't tested the low yet of the downdraft, uh, which was uh, created last week. That downdraft uh, is 91.85. I do expect that we're going to uh, see that uh, tested. If we take a look at a few of the other cryptocurrencies out here, you have uh, Ripple is up 12 uh, percent today that's uh, trading 133 you get litecoin up two percent that's trading 174 ethereum is up one percent at uh, 968 um bottom line there's this volatility uh well the volatility continues uh in that market what i expect we're going to see out here today is that the uh the gold market and the the future market is get some uh, good volatility we go over to the uh, small caps, small caps, bottom line of giving it up right now. Uh, we'll see RT, let's see. Small caps uh, hit a high out here today of uh, 1612. And right now we're, we are at uh, 1600. Let's just go take a look inside the small caps. Okay, so you get some big volume here, man. Someone's hitting the small caps. Uh, you know, we just went from this uh, 1607, 1600 number, but this has volume behind the move. So we'll see how it comes into this, uh, like the 1594. To get volume at 1594, there's not much, there's not much stopping it. We haven't had movement like that in a long period of time. Uh, but the small caps are definitely capable of that. The, the small caps, when they start moving, whether you're moving topside or downtown, uh, they uh, move uh, fast, furious, and, and all of the above. And it's going to be the it's going to be the dollar. The dollar's going to throw a stick into this market. That's what it looks like. Go back over to this dollar for a second. And don't forget, if you are inside the Nadex platform, bottom line, uh, you can trade those currencies. Uh, and what you have, of course, is that uh, I'll bring this up. It's the dollar. I would say the you get the dollar versus the euro. You get the dollar versus the uh, yen. Yen's getting stronger. Euro's getting stronger. Dollar's getting weaker. Uh, right now, the, long, the further we get away from uh, this 90 area, uh, the more acceleration I expect you're actually going to get on the downside. Uh, so the number to keep your eye on here is 89,960. We're only 15 ticks away from it. If we blow away that number, you can expect this thing could be down 1,000 ticks. That's, this is just nothing in the middle. Um, we're at a price point right now that the first place that you get any type of support is down at the 88. And what the 88 is, folks, is this. The 88 is the highs of 2008 and 2010, 2009 and 2010. It's a 88, 708 and 88. 
an 89 uh, 625. You know, uh, you have to go back quite a while. This, the way, if you just look at this quickly, it's like, man, this thing can go to 79 in a heartbeat. Because you, what you've done, you've broken down, you know, your trading range from January of 2015. So you get a two-year trading range happening. You break down a two-year trading range, man. That, that's, that's some serious business. If we go over to the euro, we take a look at the euro. What do you have with the euro? This thing wants topside. Yeah, see, it's already hit the, uh, it's ready to hit the 123 area. Uh, this breaks the other side of it. You're, go, you're going up to 130. Don't forget, folks, if you want to hedge uh, your portfolio out here, come over to our website at TFNN. Hit that EverBank banner. You can open a foreign currency account at EverBank. Bottom line, FDIC insured. Swap some uh, dollars into euros. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now are down 20. You get the NASDAQ up 32. S&Ps are uh, up 2. Uh, if we go over and we take a look at this um, uh, Nadex platform, folks, uh, I'm going to pull up the uh, Bitcoin. And what you're going to see here um, is that we go into, you, you go into uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, bottom line, we get into cryptocurrencies. You go into Bitcoin. We go into the weeklies. Uh, and what you're going to see is that the, the weeklies are set up 
So the weekly start trading, 8 o'clock on Monday morning. They stop trading at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. Uh, if you haven't test drove this platform, you can come over, hit the button. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. You can see how these uh, weekly binary, weekly uh, spreads trade. Now, if you were bullish on Bitcoin, even when we talk about defined risk, what would end up happening here is that you can, you'd have a defined risk of, uh, well, first off, there's a $15,000 spread when this opens up. Uh, so the low part of that spread is 6,400. High part is 16,400. Uh, if you were bullish on Bitcoin, bottom line, your maximum loss per contract would be uh, $445. Your maximum gain would be 556. Uh, that's if, in fact, you go up to that um, 16,400. And keep in mind that you can actually get in and out of these anytime that you'd like before Friday at three o'clock. If you're bearish on Bitcoin, uh, right now, you're, you're, you'd be selling Bitcoin at uh, 10725 Your maximum loss would be 566 Your maximum gain would be 403 um, It's a great way to basically take a look at these and see exactly how they do trade. The, uh, if we go into, I want to go into the CME for a second because I want to show you something here inside the Bitcoin market. If we take a look at this, what you're going to see is that this The X, 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 B. Okay, so when we take a look at it, you're going to see Bitcoin right now is at 10,600. If you're watching Tiger TV, what you're going to see up in the corner is that you're going to see the CBOE Bitcoin. The last was 10,570. You're going to see the CME last is 10,540. This is what the difference is. A contract at the CBOE, folks, is only one Bitcoin. A contract at the CME is five Bitcoins, so you can understand what the difference is. So if you're trading at the CME, you're trading 50, right there, approximately, what, 52,000. You're trading at the CB, CBOE, you're trading 10,000. Um, it, it does make a difference, and what you're going to see is that what you do here is that you can, each day I've been watching this. Now, this, the CBOE this is the first day I've seen it actually getting more business than the CME. The CME, you take the 708 contracts, multiply by five, that's 3,500. This is a big expansion for the CBOE. It's, you know, I hadn't seen it doubled the CME. So it's going to be intriguing watching uh, how this whole thing shakes out. And this says two different things, actually, looking at it. You have more retail people, more than likely, in the CBOE. Smaller amounts, right? 10,000. Uh, and it's possible that when we take a look at the price of Bitcoin, that the big money actually came into the CME because the day that the, the CME started, folks, trading, that was your 19,511. So I suspect what more than likely we might have had here, that's when they, they threw it in there, the shot the CME. They got it down into these prices here. People are basically sitting there waiting um, for basically a more information for a, a better risk versus a reward. And when I take a look at this, it's like, okay, does that want to go into the 82, um, 82.28 level? Yeah, we'll find out. Let's go over to uh, one of our tigers is saying, uh, yeah, I'll go to that silver market right now, man. I was on the TV this morning and saying, like, okay, that's silver market. We need help. CME, CAC. Okay, Let's go take a look at silver. So silver right now is 1689. Okay. There's no doubt that we need the, uh, this dollar wants to break down today, man. Okay, this is good. You know, the, the cool thing about what has happened this morning, folks, is that when I saw silver get whacked, what does happen, silver is so psycho that most times before it goes, it does get whacked. Um, so they, they cleaned it out. They got below the low that was established uh, last week on the 16th. They got to, uh, what, 16? We got, let's see. Put this back up again. Okay, so you're down a half a percent. 
This is even better. This is uh, what's intriguing here. I'm saying even better, folks. When the, the the Bloomberg silver contract is running late right now, and most times I like that when it's running late because what happens is that there's normally larger players that are piling in there, and people too many people are looking at it simultaneously. Um, this is you know, hey, listen, we've rejected lower price. You know, you're going to have lighter volume than a downdraft of uh, uh, last week of uh, the 16th. So the real key is now going to be, uh, can, it, can it make it up? Let's go take a look at a few silver stocks, which will give us a decent indication. So if we look at Pan American Silver first, Pan American Silver right now, that's down 10 cents. That's, oh, that's a nice rejection. Okay, so that traded to 16.14, now you're at 16.48. That's a good indication that it has, it has a... At 17.44, it has a high, high volume high. That's a good indication. Um, Heckler, let's take a look at Heckler. Heckler hit 4.10, you're at 4.14. Not bad. First Majestic hit 6.87 right now. Yeah, you get, you get rejections right across, uh, you know, the, the silver uh equities out here so we'll we'll see uh oh here we go let's let's go back to the dollar the, this dollar is getting croaked man pretty amazing we're just we're gonna be uh evidently uh we're gonna be pumping out look at that dollar yep 89 so now we're we're under the 89 900 mark i think we just blew away the low that it was going after yeah it did uh, here we go. We get the price spread. Here. We're going to be down a thousand ticks, man. You get action, action. We got metal action, folks. This is going to get intriguing. So, dollar just sort of took out the lows of the 19th, sliced them up too, pretty good. Um, now, there's not much here to the 88 uh, area. That's how this thing is shaking out, and we'll see whether we get follow through all day long. It's early in the morning right now to have something like this happening. Uh, it's been building costs for seven days. Um, looks like it's going to go. You know, gold's up uh, 520 right now, 1337. The uh, what I would like to see is um, I'd like to see uh, the 10 year uh, move a little bit more because th they, these bonds are telling us something. Uh, it's like who are buying all those bonds when the Fed, you know, is going up on rates. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow right now is flat. NASDAQ is up 39. SPs are up three and a half. We'll come right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for the Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and 
you'll find the Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Folks, the Dow right now uh, is up six. You get the Nasdaq up 39. S&Ps are up four. Let's go uh, inside the Dow Industrials. Uh, take a look at the strength versus the weakness out here. Uh, Point-wise uh, out here, what you have inside the Dow, the leader out here putting uh, positive points into it. You get Travelers putting 34 positive points. You get United Health putting 20. Uh, Apple's putting eight. Now, taken away from it, we get a couple of big ones. You get uh, Johnson & Johnson taking 24 points away, Procter & Gamble putting 18, uh, negative uh, Goldman Sachs putting 7, 3M putting 9, and Chevron putting 8. Uh, inside the NDX 100, what do we have out here? So uh, inside the NDX 100, what is, what is moving the NDX up, which is up right now 50 bucks, you have Netflix. Netflix is the big mover out here. That's up 11%. You have Allergen up 3%, Celgene is up 2%, uh, and Wynn is up 2%. Wynn's on fire, man, big time. Uh, he's actually uh, opening uh, another casino also. So let's go take a look at WYNN. Let's go take a look at Wynn. Okay, so Wynn's trading up 4 bucks. You're at 199.25. Uh, this has been uh, quite an acceleration. Uh, seven days, that's gone from 160 to 200 bucks. We bring this back, and what you're going to see, it's going after its uh, all-time highs. The, the low of the all-time high is 205, uh, established in 2014. Uh, News-wise, uh, bottom line is that he's uh, opening another hotel. So check this out. This is pretty wild. So you got uh, Steve Wynn explaining his fourth hotel in Las Vegas. The... Um, the new hotel is going to be built in the former site of the Frontier Hotel across uh, from his uh, existing two wind properties. is going to feature 2,500 hotel rooms. Uh, there's going to be a connection uh, between his, the Encore, uh, and there's going to be an air-conditioned uh, walkway going right across from it. Uh, he acquired that in December uh, for $336 million. That seems pretty cheap, actually. Um, 38 acres for $336 million. This, this is the number I wanted to get to, though. Listen to this. This is pretty amazing. Hey, this is his quote. Hotels are very profitable, Wynn Win said on his uh, analyst call yesterday. Our room rates, with our room rates, we operated a 50 to 60 percent margin in the hotel. So I want to add more rooms. Isn't that amazing? 50 to 60 percent margin in the hotel. It's like, oh, my God. Um, he expects when this is going to get done uh, that the... Uh, well, inside the hotel room, he's going to have, uh, he's going to feature 24-foot uh, window views, his and her bathrooms, 80-inch TVs, uh, and the average room rate is going to be 400 a night. Uh, pretty pretty amazing, man. That's it's a big number. That guy is quite an operator. There's no doubt about it. Pretty, it's, it's, it's amazing, depending on, you know, watching Las Vegas over the last uh, 30, 40, 50 years. It's like just absolutely amazing. Uh, let's go take a look at the, the king dog out here, Amazon, see what Amazon's up to. You know, Amazon, uh, I suspect the next thing, oh, this, this, is a, this is a rocket ship, man. So Amazon's up $23. Uh, 
uh, making new all-time highs over the high that was established last week of 1339. You're at 1351. And the real key, you know, you know what I'm wondering about the Amazon deal, folks, is that the, the technology that they have um, for the Amazon Go, I'm wondering if, in fact, that that's going to be the next deal that they're actually going to start selling uh, some of that technology to convenience stores. And it's going to be amazing watching how this thing shakes out because the reality would be if, in fact, this technology works, and, and specifically what I'm talking about, what Amazon, this just opened yesterday. It, it opened in the bottom of their headquarters. They've been test driving it for a year. What their technology does is that it's an app that you can actually walk into the store, you can pick up items, you can put items down, you're not scanning items. The, the, the technology understands what you have in your cart, what you don't have in your cart. The amazing thing to me, I was thinking you could take it in, you can put it in, you can take it out, you can put it in and take it out. You walk out of the store. If, in fact, they have that down pat, which I expect it'll be it someday, could, if they sell all that technology to all the convenience stores, it's going to be a mind blower. I mean, it just, it, it's, um, you know, depending on how much that technology costs, um, because if they start getting into the software business also, oh, my God, just, it'll, be, it'll be absolutely wild. Um, let's go back over. So silver is getting there. We had 16.93 in silver. Let's go over to the platinum market. Uh, yesterday, what we did get is that platinum was trying to get to its September 8th high, uh, gave it up in spades. Today, what they did, it rejected lower price at 9.93. We're at 1,007. Uh, yesterday, you made it up to uh, 10.23. Your high is 10.27. And let me put this back. This is going to go. This whole thing's going to go because this dollar is getting croaked. Oh, I see what platinum did too. Interesting. Okay, so platinum came down on 26,900 contracts. But guess what? It was coming into 31,000 contracts. So it actually came down on light volume, tested the day of the 16th, of January, which which was a big day in the gold market and the silver market, the metals market in general. Rejected it today. We're going, man. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be. Uh, this is going to be. This is only Tuesday. Um, this is good. Tuesday, we get today and three more trading days to get some real acceleration uh, inside this metals market. If that gold contract can get up about 750. And not that 750 is any big uh, magic number, folks. What it is, is it's the acceleration uh, with the dollar basically breaking the 89. You get that acceleration going, um, we can get some big, big action uh, inside that market. Let's go to the GDX and take a look at what the GDX is doing out here. So the GDX is trading 23.71. That just uh, came up about 35 cents. This filled the gap. This is nice. The gap was at 2342. We went to 2339. You're going to have light volume. You're back inside the range. You might have a small ABC structure on the way up. Every way we look at this, man, it looks like uh, this thing is going to have a shot to go. And we'll find out uh, if we're going to get some follow through. What's intriguing is that, let's go over to the S&Ps for a second. So the S&Ps, bottom line, they're going sideways, but they're sideways at all-time highs. You made another all-time high out here today. So the S&P, the, the, the future, we just hit uh, 28.42. Whoops, let's cancel that. Okay, oh, so this is having a hard time right there. It looks like it's going to test the 2841 one more time, though. 2841.50 from 10 minutes to 10 this morning, that's a high volume bar. That's got to be tested. We'll see if it gets tested in the next few minutes. If you get tested in the next few minutes, we'll find out whether that thing wants to race another uh, 10, 15 points. They definitely ran that in, into the close uh, last night, no doubt about that. Dow Industrials right now. Up four, Nasdaq's up 39, S&P's are up four and a half, stay right there, please come back.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Achievers rise above the rest, and when they see an opportunity, they take action, massive action. Achievers capitalize on every resource in order to experience success at its absolute max. And on Wednesday, January 31st, 5 to 6 p.m., I'll share with subscribers of Mastering Probability how to achieve even more success with the extraordinary tools that I use to call the markets. These tools predicted the Ebola 2015 stock market bottom, the December 2017 gold bottom, and why subscribers added to their mining positions this month as well. Learn the pattern that projects the Dow's next upside target of 30,740. Folks, great moments were born from great opportunity. So don't miss this opportunity to take advantage of my 30-day money-back guarantee for mastering probability. All the details are on the homepage of TFN.com. Sign up today and reserve your spot for the ultimate subscriber event. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up by uh, eight. You get the Nasdaq up 41. S and P's are up five and a half. Uh, natural gas. Natural gas is up about five and a half percent. 339. Big bid on natural gas. You get two different things happening. Of course, is that uh, bottom line? We're in the winter, uh, as Larry was saying uh, on his on the show earlier today. Yeah, we, when it was freezing out, bottom line it didn't react. Well, it's reacting now, no doubt. Uh, you get the uh, gasoline. Gasoline is up 1.2 percent. You get crude up one percent. Uh, heating oil is up 1%. Gold is up a half a percent right now. We had nickel up three tenths of 1%. And uh, the silver market is down three tenths of 1%. The silver market's the, still the one, folks, that needs some uh, juice behind it. We have copper. Copper is down almost 2%. Uh, this, uh, the dollar index uh, and the euro, uh, dollar index, euro, and yen. I expect you're going to continue to see some good volatility in these uh, all day long out here today. Uh, the, the euro wants higher price, uh, which make it stronger. The yen wants lower price, which makes it stronger. We're at 110 yen to the U.S. dollar right now. Uh, and good old uh, the dollar index is at 89.925. Uh, don't forget, folks, you can come over to our website at TFNN. Our man, Steve Rhodes, is going to be doing a great workshop for his subscribers. You can... Be a subscriber. You can get a 30-day money-back guarantee by subscribing. You'll be in that workshop. It's going to be a great workshop. And, of course, uh, you stay right there. we got our swim lessons coming up uh, from uh, 11 to 12. we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. 
uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Uh, I'll be back this afternoon. And, of course, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we've got our man, Mr. Andy Heck. And don't forget, folks, you can get all the programming right here at TFNN. You can also get it on YouTube. You can just go to YouTube, go, on, go to TFNN Corp. Just subscribe, and then uh, on your cell phone, each and every program that comes up is going to be right there on your cell phone. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. You stay right there. Swim lessons are coming right up. Dow Industrials up 20. NASDAQ up 44. S&P's up 7.5. Just caught the big. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.